Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Skyrim Special Edition Survival. Alrighty, when we left off, we, well, we had just gotten into Mist Watch Hold Keep. It's one of those. It's one of those names. Mist Watch North Tower, technically. Yeah, close enough. Uh, but anyway. Other than that, we had gotten into here, and now we have to creep slowly along to not only get Makara's treasure, but also rescue the wife of the dude we met just outside this entrance over here a while back. So, gotta focus a little bit. I'm tired. Great. Fantastic. That's what I wanted. Being tired. But also there's... Making sure I'm equipped for what I'm going to be looking at. In a second. Okay, I thought he was going to immediately see me. like I was a little luckier than that, but not by much. To make sure my path isn't also booby-trapped. Well, that didn't work like I hoped. Okay, well, time to back up. Time to back up. Time to back up. And now it's time to fight. Okay. Whoop. Oh, geez. Down you go. Good. I'll take your stuff. Please. Lock me. Ow. 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 Pain. Fire. Pain. Ow. Okay, alright. Um, do some healing there. I think those minor healings, because why not? Oh, well, I mean... Technically, I made these. Do they override each other? I don't know. I guess I'll find out in a second now, won't I? Okay, uh, armor... All of the blood. Okay, I have to deal with that. Um, I have to make sure that the whole thing is at the same time. Okay, it does. Cool. There they are. Alright. So they do work in conjunction. That's good. Ow, you bastard. You keep throwing fireballs at me. It hurts. Come on! It's mean. Okay, uh, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, I'm in trouble if I do not go any faster <laughs> with my combat. Was I hungry? Apparently I was. Okay, good. Woo! Boy, that was a bad miss to make. <laughs> there we go. Woo! Woo! Boy. Too close. My, uh, my weakness to fire was kind of screwing me there. Oh, boy. Whew. Well, I learned one thing in that little scuffle that apparently Fusro Da can set off traps. Interesting. That was something I didn't know before. Now I do, but not the point. 
pot or something new. All right, there we go. Also, I noticed that everything is very loud all of a sudden in my recording software. Don't know why. Gonna gonna mess with that a little bit. Give me a second. There we go. Turned it down a couple notches. Maybe it's good enough that you can actually hear me a little bit over the sound effects and music. A little bit. Which is the important part, really. Um, okay, let's pop these back on. For no other reason than to just use them as soon as possible, because I will probably need to do that. Alright, let's open this up. Wow. That was sheer dumb luck, let me tell you. Alright. Um, yeah, nothing too special in here. Alright, so Alchemy Lab. Let's see. What could I make a lot of that I know I'll need? A lot of these for sure. There we go. Uh, invisibility and regenerate. There we go. That does that. Death Bell and River Betty. What do I have? Yes, I do. Good. Alright, that does make a lot of poisons. And a lot of it is very good. Mmm. Okay. There we go. Do that too. Level up. Booyah. Um, let's make a lot of these because boy do I need them. Oh boy do I need them. Um, I think blister wart and blue flower don't work out as perfectly. I think. Don't quote me. I'm probably wrong. But now they work out. I'll be damned. Okay, cool. Alright. Well, I'll make this stretch as far as possible. The supplies of mine. There we go. Helps a little bit. Um, and then make a few of these, because that's probably a good idea. Especially in the super future. All right, where I need all the cure disease I can really grab. Okay, um, ba ba ba, ba 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 ba. Good. Good enough. Actually, you know what? I wonder if I can make stronger resist magic ones. Kind of, a little bit, a little stronger. Better than fuck all. I did that, and I said that, not knowing what time it is. Eh, it's far enough in the episode. It's fine. It's fine, Reggie. It's fine. All right, anyway. Uh, I could use those. I could use that, and I could use that, actually. Twelve bat. Big poison. It's in the cupboard, anyway. Ooh. Ooh. Some good stuff. Some good stuff. Yeah, it's fine. But in this one. Nah. Nothing. Oh. <laughs> I almost missed that. That would have been embarrassing <laughs> to miss that. But otherwise, okay. Good. No. Oh, just noticed some elves ear. Which I can use to make more magicka potions. Yes. Good. Perfect. Now let's go back to the beds downstairs. Now that we can. Because all the enemies are dead. They're gone. It means I can get some sleep and no one can bug me. Alright. Fantastic. Get a bit of sleepy sleep. Deal with my tiredness. 
and also get a level up. <sighs> okay. Uh, let's go with health this time. Probably a good idea. Probably. Don't know. Particularly. Okay. I awake feeling refreshed. Good. Let me check what we got. Okay, so... My fortify health, that's 40, right? Yes, it's 40. Okay. So, my next ones have to go into magicka and stamina. That, I have to make sure. So, that way it's all even. The way I want to do it. Um... Hmm. Do I want to throw it in there? Or do I want to throw it in here? It's a good question. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'll ask for twice as many hits. That would be nice. Um... I'll sit on these perk points for now. For now. I'm sure something will come up that will tell me one way or another which way I should go when it comes to perks. I'm sure of it. Actually, I just noticed there's a chest over here. Hey! Some cool stuff. Alright. Um, in the meantime, I should probably eat more stuff again. Uh, soup. Ta-da. I just noticed that was a master lock without that key. That would have been a pain. Okay. Nothing too special out here. That's good. I can hear a dragon, though. That's concerning. Almost would have missed this. There we go. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. And more unlocking with a key. Perfect. Alright, time to pop this on. I need it. balls. Walked away before I could get the shot off. Huh. So I'm going to have to sit here until he comes back. There he is. Uh, yes, it is the best I can do, actually. How'd you know? Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Trouble begins. And it begins now. Uh oh. Alright. Okay, uh, okay. Trouble begins now. Oh jeez. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh jeez. Uh there we go. This will help a little. Oh you little sh There we go. Got that one. And beheading you. Oh boy. The other one had to come in. Guns blazing, huh? Okay, well, this is going to be a trouble. <laughs> but we might be able to make it. Maybe. Maybe. Key phrase is maybe. Huh. Okay. So. Just start swinging again. There we go. Not really, but, I mean, I'm probably not going to have any choice. There we go. Got it before you could land the swing. There we go. Gotcha. Hoo, 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 hoo. Okay. <laughs> Oak flesh is really saving my hide here. Oh, boy. Oh. 
Oak flesh, I love you. You're really keeping me from dying. Okay. Come on. Stop shooting and start swinging. Because here, I got you beat. See? Real beat. Real dead. Gotcha. Oof. Brody. Alright, I'll take these. Thank you. Oh, these are just Nord Ales. Nord Meads, rather. Blech. That's no good. Note. The lady we grabbed down by the river turned out to be a feisty one. Burbag thought he could beat some respect into her, but it looks like he used too strong a hand. The boss is not going to be happy when she hears about this. Probably not. Here's hoping it wasn't the uh, lady we were here to help kind of save. Ooh, that'd be bad. It'd be real bad. And unfortunately, there's no way to know. Oh, boy. Take that arrow. You don't have a lot on you. Take that. You. Ooh. Shiny ish. Yeah. Key phrase is shiny ish. But still. Not terrible. Um salt. You can take that. Just trying to make sure that there's nothing I'm leaving behind after all of that combat. And it doesn't look like I will be. So that's good. Cool. Sleep a little more. There we go. I already looted that, I think. I already looted those. Ooh, long taffy treat. Oh, these are ales. Nice. Alrighty. I think I had alerted everyone in the building. <laughs> So, I think it should be clear. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty clear. Okay, cool. The last section before we beat the boss. Alrighty. Let me get my brink. Ha! Huh. This is rather level. Interesting. Well, I'll take that. Because that's good money. Stormcloak officer. Well, that doesn't suggest good things. Alright, Snowback. Who are you and what are you doing in my tower? Uh, I'm here for Fiola? Fiola? How do you know that name? Her husband sent me. Where is she? Krister? He's here? Do you know him? The fool's my husband. Uh, I'm Fiola. Or I was, once. Don't you see? I see a little I more now. I old scab. Came home to Skyrim and found this rabble of bandits. Didn't take much to prove myself and knock them into shape. Now every free blade from here to Windhelm wants to sign on for a peace. That's a little messed up, but that's also quite a story. And it won't end here. I'd die before I went back. There's no way you'll come peacefully? None. Not back to him. What am I supposed to tell him? I don't know. I never expected the old bag to follow me so far. Just get rid of him. But don't kill him. I don't hate the man. I just want him to go back to his farm and forget about me. I mean... I could do that, but you're also a kidnapper and ransomer. For the good of, like, everyone, I probably should just kill you. But, I mean... I'll try getting him to leave? Take my wedding band. Stoon only knows why I kept it this long. He'll recognize it. 
Tell him whatever you think will convince him to leave. The okay. ring itself is worth a few bits. Keep it as thanks for cutting off the last vestige of an unwanted fate. Okay. Well, I mean... I also came here for a thing, so if y'all don't mind me doing... Okay, okay, I have to do it quickly, got to do it quickly, got to do it quickly, got to do it quickly. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, I'm really bad at this <laughs> right now. Doing this quick is not real good for me. Ah, uh, she she abada. She abadabba do. God damn it! Okay. There we go, that was the one that did it. Right when I stopped singing. Cat's Eye Amethyst. Wow, that is worth a pretty penny. Holy shit, look at that. I'll take all of that. All of this. All of it. It's all mine now. Halgard's Tail. Oh, well, I'll take that. Ooh! Dwarven Axe of Depleting. Well, she's letting me take it. Which is good. Surprising, but good. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well, out of here I go then. I guess she, uh, I guess she realized if I managed to get that far that I'm a very strong, capable warrior. Hmm. And that she doesn't want to mess with me too much, I guess. I guess. I don't know. I'm assuming. Alrighty. Let's head. Whoa. I forgot that it was so close to the edge there. Ha. Ha ha. That was weird. All right, time to head all the way down, and Doctor Krista. We okay. All right, hi there. What news? Why isn't Fiola with you? Uh, well, um, I found this ring, but no sign of her. Her marriage band. Then there's hope. She was here. I have to move on if I want to find her. Please, take the coin I promised. Blessings of Stendar on you. I will find you, Fiola. Um. I don't know about that one, dude. But, uh, sure, why not? Oh, she's seeing my handiwork. Oh, she came down and she saw my handiwork. Yep. Well, hello there again. Oh, it's you. I didn't think you could handle this on your own. Did you get rid of Krister? Yep, he won't bother you again. How did... No, forget it. I don't care to know. I'm free of the little man, and that's what matters. I owe you a debt, and I aim to repay it. We'll see each other again someday. For now, goodbye and thanks. Well, you could repay me by not doing this whole shtick anymore. That'd be nice. If you stop doing this shtick and go legit, that'd be nice. Find whoever did this. That was me. So, I mean, you know, just remember that. You know, just in case. Okay, I'm arguing with a... <laughs> I'm arguing with an NPC. Anyway, time to move on. And we get out of here. And we're done. Ha ha ha! You're done with the things here. Now we can move on. <clears throat> First, a little food. <laughs> Just a little food. 
There we go. Much better. I forgot this is where I let these bodies sit. I completely forgot about that. Well, there's that dragon I was hearing. Alright. Seems to be a standing stone here that I can visit, which is good. Grab these. Just because I can. We Ow. That hurt. Huh. I was expecting some sort of animal to come up and attack me or something. Well, hello. Didn't expect you Traveler. here. I'll bet you've seen some sights. We yeah. should swap tails sometime. Meh. Nah, maybe. Maybe we should. Well, oh, I'll take that. That's for sure. This is the Atronox Stone. Ah, okay. That makes sense. Alright. Okay. Good. Uh, healing. There we go. Because I kind of need a bit of that. There we go. Now it's time to head back to that mine. Oh, wow, that wasn't all that far away, actually. Grand scheme of things. The road made it seem more winding than it actually is. But, no, it's just that close by. I'll be damned. Alright. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Okay. Let's see here. There's a new museum opening up in Dawnstar. Oh. The owner is asking me to hand out invitations to travelers. Mm -hmm. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Alrighty then. Bye. I guess. I don't want to steal these. I think. Oh. Is that Makara? Yes, it is. Hello again, traveler. She it changed is her outfit. See you are doing well. Makara was just watching the water. Mm -hmm. It is calming, yes? Soothes the spirit. Yeah, I guess the you can see that. The flow of it. The distant rush of the falls. The light glinting off the ripples as the water flows away downstream. It clears the mind. You've changed your clothes. Hmm? A little Strange bit. response. I mean... But, yes. The hides this one wore before were that's the more, when she was you know, attacked. important one. One of the villagers was kind enough to replace them, free of charge. Well, that's nice. Nice people here. Very unlike the ones Kajit met in Windhelm. What do you think? Does the outfit suit Makara? Eh, uh, I mean, it's a bit flashy, don't you think? It is funny you should say that. Makara thought the same thing. Hold on. This one has a few extra pieces of cloth she was given. Less flashy. There. What do you think? Yeah, the blue matches your eyes, yeah. <laughs> that That's... <laughs> I didn't actually read the response until <laughs> I said it. Um, yeah. <laughs> Does it? Makara supposes that is good. Yeah. A bit of color coordination never hurt anyone, yes? True. All right, then. She will wear this for now. But Makara assumes you did not come here to talk about clothing. Hmm? So what is it? Particularly, no. Found your gem. The bandits at Mistwatch had it the whole time. Still, you have it. Amazing. Makara cannot believe you tracked the bandits down. Much less retrieved her gem from them, and not a scratch on you either. I wouldn't say that. You are something special. You know that. You have Makara's deepest thanks. Please, can this one see it? Absolutely. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Well. She got so lost in looking at it, she ended the conversation. <laughs> Understandable, considering, you know, it was hers previously, and now she gets to look at it again. Can't blame her. 
Makara was afraid she would never see it again. Thank you. Thank you, friend. You're welcome. Why is the gem so important? Hmm. It is difficult to explain. This gem, it is one half of a whole, yes? Mm -hmm. A piece of a puzzle, the other half of which this one's brother carries. Hmm. Your brother? Yes, Udasi Dro, Magara's older brother. This one is here in Skyrim searching for him. I see. Tell me about your brother. Udasi? What can Makara say? He is this one's big brother, and she thinks the world of him. He is a kind, intelligent, caring cat. <laughs> Always knows just what to say to cheer this one up on a bad day. Keep her going when life does its best to tear her down. Mm. A good trait to have, living on the streets of Balmora. As you may know, life in Morrowind is still not easy, nor very fair for Khajiit. Yeah. But no matter how difficult life has been, he has always looked out for Makara. And in turn, Makara has always done her best to look out for him. Good. It has been just the two of us for as long as Makara remembers. Excuse me. We have always been close. Thick as thieves, yes? Yeah, I get you. Or at least, we were until recently. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. This was a private conversation. See your way out of it. Had a falling out? Yes. A few months ago, we fought. Said some regrettable words to each other. Mm -hmm. And Udasi left, saying he hoped never to see this one again. Oof. What happened? The short answer is he's gone off the deep end about some dwarven artifact. But it's never quite that simple, yes? It is a long story, though. Perhaps another time, yes? Okay. If you say so. What did you mean when you said the gem is part of a puzzle? It was a gift Makara was given by her brother. And that is how he described it. As a piece of a puzzle. Hmm. He happened across a shopkeeper in Balmora who had brought in a bunch of artifacts, two of which caught Udasi's eye. A gem, and a shining hunk of metal. Prismatic, almost translucent. Uh -huh. Ancient Dwemer artifacts, said the shopkeeper, with hidden mystical qualities. Udasi was but a young cub at the time, and the story entranced him. Though he could not afford the artifacts, he could not be without them. And so one night, he sneaked into the shop after dark and made off with them. He stole them? The shopkeeper wasn't using them, was his justification to Makara, as good a reason as any. Uh, he gave this one a get the metal yeah. for himself, and told Makara the merchant's words. These two artifacts are a pair, two halves of a whole. One is useless without the other, and together they have untold power. The same as us, Udazi said, him and Makara. Two halves of a whole. Hmm. That is why he gave Makara the gem, so that we would always have this connection. As long as we carry these, no matter how far apart we are, mm -hmm. we will be together. <sighs> Makara never believed in this gem's mystical powers, but nonetheless, she has always carried it with her. And Udasi hmm. carried his artifact too. Two halves of a whole. And now, one half seeking the other, yes? Ugh. Yeah. It's unfortunate. Do you have any idea where Udasi Duro might be? I could help look for him. You would offer your help again? Yeah, hmm. sure, why not? This one does not know what she has done to deserve your kindness. Such a change from the thinly veiled bigotry of Morrowind. It is endearing. Very yeah, well. I bet. Makara will tell you what she knows. Mm -hmm. This one passed through Windhelm some time back. Received something of a poor reception from the Nords there, but... Yeah. The elves in the Grey Quarter there mentioned a wide-eyed Khajiit with stark orange fur who had asked about Dwemer books during the last rain's hand. They huh. said they referred him west, to the Bard's College in Solitude. The capital of Skyrim, yes? Yeah. That is where Makara was going before she was... Uh, sidetracked. Yeah, I'd say a little sidetracked, just a bit. So someone there might have seen him. 
As good a place to start as any. Makara yeah. will head that way too, but she is still not fully recovered. So Oops, she may sorry, lag didn't behind even get you. My a microphone. Bit. <laughs> my bad. There is a pub in White Run, yes? Mm -hmm. If Makara cannot make it to Solitude, she will stop there and await your return. Okay. Thank you again, Traveler. Sounds good. I might meet you in White Run. Alright, follow Udasi Dro's trail to the Bard's College in Solitude. Alright. Guess that's where I need to head. But also, I need to deal with my eyes again. My good golly goodness. How is it this keeps happening? Well, I found out why it was still happening. Uh, my glasses were absolutely filthy. And I assume my eyelashes were just picking up bits of it and then just throwing them into my eyeballs. So, that was not, you know, ideal. That's probably where a good portion of the uh, irritation was coming from. But, now that that's dealt with... I'm gonna take a couple of these. Now that that's dealt with, I should be all good for the time being. And now, I guess we, uh... Head back to White Run, since I'm basically all done here. Finished with Gravanger Cave, helped this uh, nice Khajiit lady here, who also got she also got some help from people in Darkwater Crossing. But that's not the point. We helped her in getting her belongings back, and also beating the hell out of the bandits who did it. So you know, good deeds done. All of that fun stuff. Huh. You are a very armored up person. Although your armor doesn't match. Also, I'm hungry. Oh no. There we go. Better. What's a milk drinker like you doing out here? Go home to your mother. You shouldn't talk to me like that. Why? What are you gonna do? Cry? No, I'm gonna beat your ass. I don't have to take that from you. Oh, yeah? Never come sure? You sure about that? Because I'm pretty sure you're going to take that from me. Regardless. And you are not going to get... There we go. There we go. Weep. Booyah. Oop, okay. There we go. Nice try. Ha. Okay. It's actually not too bad. It's a little combat here. Oh, you little shit. How dare you? I'm the only one allowed to heal. Fuck you. There we go. Um. Listen, she challenged me. Um, she, yeah, this sort of thing happens a lot. You don't, don't, don't worry about it. Just, just keep on going. I, I'll meet you at White Run. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll see you. I'll see you when you get there. Yeah, um, I'll, the, no, I'll be, uh, okay. All right, okay. Smooth, stray, real smooth. Okay. I'm um, just gonna take these things, including those and those. Uh oh, she. Uh oh. Uh um um mm, um hmm. Okay. Um. Yeah. Just. Yeah. Just kind of there. Maybe a little further. A little further than that. Just a little further. Yeah. There you go. See? See? Much better. See? Oh, well, well, not exactly what I meant either. Didn't mean to get blood into the local river, but, um, mm, mm. okay. Well, mm. all right. Well, This is south. Why am I going south? North is where I want to go. 
Where am I going? Where am I trying to go? Um, oh, well, I guess this is the way I'm trying to go. So I guess I'm going to have to get ahead of Makara. Hey, excuse me. Sorry. Bye. See you in a bit. Probably. Real smooth, Stray. Real smooth. Real smooth. That, that's one thing Stray is in front of the ladies. Real, real, real smooth. Yeah. Real debonair. Okay, why am I lying to everyone? All right, time to keep on going and get out of this rain. Jesus, torrential downpour. Good gods. Jabus. Okay, well, we're going to keep moving this way. Alrighty. Well. Didn't expect thunder. Oh, bad. Oh, boy, that's a hell of a downpour. Right, what the what? Hand over your valuables, or I'll gut you like a fish. Bruh, did you not see what I did just like a half mile down? <laughs> Walk away right now. Nice try, but you don't scare me. Well, I better. Yeah, that is my best. And down you go. That was what you get. How? Oh, why do I keep doing this? Why is it? Why is it always women? Ah, God. And it's like, right, and Makara's gonna stop. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, gosh. Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. Oh, jeez. All right. Just need it. it. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay. Just need to push her out of the way. Just push the body away from being visible. Yeah, there we go. See? Yeah, it's like no one can see. Yeah, no one. Yeah. Okay. All right. <sighs> oh, Shiza. It's like I'm inadvertently leaving a trail of broken. <laughs> so, God. No, I can't. <laughs> I can't say that. That'll be used against me. <laughs> Oh boy. Mm. 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 No. Mm -mm. I was kind of curious what this whole barrow is here. The Grun's Tomb. I've never. Oh. Didn't mean to startle you. Help me. He's in the necromancer. The gods know what with my dead relatives. Your dead relatives. Who's in the tomb? Val's Baron. My family has never really seen eye to eye with them. And he has finally gone off the deep end. Oh. He's gone in to defile our family tomb by using our ancestors for his filthy dark elf necromancer. Okay, let's not be ra my racist went about in it. After him. But she hasn't come out yet, and I don't think I can take him by myself. You let your aunt go in there by herself? <sighs> I'm not proud of it. I'm terrified of that place, and Aunt Agna knows it. My dad locked me in there in a drunken rage when he left us. Three days in there eating the offerings left for our dead before Aunt Agna found me. Jesus. Agna helped me. He's in the tomb doing God's know what with my dead relatives. I mean, yeah, I guess I have Great. time. I'll unlock the door and meet you inside. Then you can lead the way. Oh, I'll lead the way? Okay. Ancestral worship. Whatever the hell that's about. 
defeat Val's Veron, and then it's optional to protect gold here. It's optional. Interesting. All right. Um, is that that's bone meal? That's salt. Okay. Okay. Well, it's a little over time, but uh, I guess I will do this. But that'll be the next episode. So, yeah. Anyway. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and helping Makara get her stuff back as well as deal with all the bandits within Mistwatch, which, you know, was easier than I thought it would be. Which is weird to say because I was expecting the worst. And, uh... Now we're going to help this guy defend his family's remains in the Ancestral Tomb from a warlock doing necromancy. Which, you know, is kind of what they do best, so... Why are we interrupting? Oh, yeah, because it's this guy's family. Makes more sense. Okay, so we'll have to do that. And uh, be the, the good guys in this instance. For you.